to meet you, Mr. Jones. I'm Whitney Shaney. I've been looking forward to meeting with you. Please, call me John. I'll admit I'm a little nervous and not sure what to expect. I'm just here to listen to any concerns and see if we can figure out a path to obtain your goals. We discussed a little over the phone that you're feeling anxious about some changes going on in your life. What are some of the specific issues causing you anxiety? Money. It's always money. My daughter just got accepted into a dance company that costs an arm and a leg. My son has a dream of going to Notre Dame playing football, and all I see is more money going out. I'm concerned about how to pay for everything. We were only two years away from paying off our mortgage, and I feel that my wife is not as concerned about our future. How did this make you feel that your wife shows less concern? I feel that we are not on the same page, which makes me feel that I am the only one concerned about our future. Does the security of yours or your wife's job concern you? In other words, do you feel that you live above your means or that your jobs are not secure? My wife and I make a good living, but I feel anxious when I start to feel that we are we stretch ourselves. I also feel that my wife's job is not very secure. She has a master's degree in business and owns her own bakery. In my opinion, she would be better off in a big corporation making a steady income. She has slow months at the bakery, and that's when it seems the extra bills hit. Have you and your wife experienced any periods that your money situation led to you desperate measures? We have always been able to pay for the necessities and splurge here and there. It's the spontaneous bills or the unforeseen issues that pop up that make me more anxious. I tend to work longer hours thinking that I will, that it will ease my mind, but all that does is make me feel guilty for missing activities with my kids or just being together as a family. So working extra does not help relieve any pressure or anxiety? No. Usually when I see my paycheck, I feel guilty of lo losing time with the family. It wasn't worth the few extra dollars. I see. Let's see if I'm understanding you correctly. You feel that you need to work more so that you do not fall behind on bills. Also, when working more, you are more prepared for any extra costs that may pop up. On the other hand, the guilt of taking away time with your family causes anxiety. Correct. You've mentioned your daughter and son's extra activities. Do these activities cause you to worry about money? Yes. My daughter is 12 years old and has dreamed of going to Indianapolis Ballet Company since the first time her mother took her to see Nutcracker when she was two. She was accepted two weeks ago into the beginner level. Usually the youngest age they accept is 13. So she was very excited when she received the offer this quick. She will go to class two times a week and on Sundays. IBC is also 45 minutes away from where we live. IBC is not cheap on top of the cost of gas. Are there any options of scholarships or carpooling? IBC offers a few scholarships, but with me working so much and my wife busy with her bakery, we haven't had much time to look at any options. I would like to explore that more, but not sure when we will have free time. My son plays travel baseball, and we are out of town almost every weekend. That's another huge cause. I think my daughter knows a few kids that go there, but I don't think my wife feels comfortable with her going with the parents because she doesn't know them. So now you are working longer hours, still feeling that you are playing catch up, and now tired when you have family time or your kids have activities on the weekend. Are you anxious because you feel like you stretch yourself too thin? Yes, but I have to because I want my kids to have more than I did growing up. I was not given the opportunity to play travel sports or make an elite dance company. Do you feel that your childhood was damaged because you were not given the chances to do certain activities or that there were money constraints that prevented you from activities? No, I lost my dad at a young age. He was only 45 and my mom was left to raise all five of us by herself. I am the oldest with one brother and three sisters. I kind of took on my, the father role when my dad passed away. My youngest sister was only seven, and I was around 16 years old. My dad provided well for us when he was alive and made sure my mom would be taken care of if anything was to happen to him. 
I don't feel that my mom struggled with money, but I know she always felt she didn't did not spend enough time with us kids. What do you think? Did you miss out of any childhood activities or time with your mother? I may have missed out on being a teenager. I was 16 and helping my mom take care of my brother and sisters. My mom had us in activities, but since I could drive, I took my siblings to a lot of their activities. But you were still involved and had your own life, not just having to help your mom. Yes, I went through my rebellious teen time. About a year after my dad passed, I felt the stress of helping my mom. My mom never forced me to help or hardly asked me to help. I just felt that it was what should be done. I was old enough to help help out and wanted to do so, but I was immature and got caught up in some bad stuff. What do you consider the bad stuff? Well, my dad died from psoriasis of the liver. After my youngest sister was born, born he began to drink. He hid it well. My mom did not even know for a long time. He also started smoking marijuana. I decided I wanted to be like my dad and smoke weed occasionally. You presently do not smoke or drink? No, I may have a beer occasionally, but I do not do anything other than any other form of drug. I do not want my kids to see that side of one of their parents. That's a good choice and good reason to break those patterns. How did your mom deal with your father's death? I noticed in your questionnaire that you mentioned your mother had a slight depressive period uh, somewhere around after your youngest sister was born. Was this postpartum or another possible reason? From my understanding, it was due to postpartum and lasted for about a year. Now looking back, I think it may have been a little little more. She may have seen changes in my dad and along with the hormones been depressed. Do you ever feel that you were depressed? No, I mean I feel down down every so often, but not depressed. Are there different issues that cause you to feel down or is it the anxiety? No, same issues that give me down money and time. I guess I should be more like my wife. How do you mean? Well, she doesn't get stressed if we have an extra bill. For example, along with my daughter's dance stuff, my son wants to play football in college. He is 15 and dreams of going to Notre Dame. More dollar signs. And to tell you the truth, he's probably not good enough to get that much money to go there. But I don't want to crush his dreams, so I pulled some strings and got him into football camp. Again, another extra cost. I've been working long hours again, and my wife has been spending less time in her bakery. I feel that if she is not there, how she, how does she know she's making any profit or what's going on? I feel all this strain, and she acts like it's not her responsibility. Sounds like this makes you angry. Well, not really angry, more anxious that we're on this that we're on the same page. She is a good businesswoman, so she probably knows what's going on and wouldn't let the bakery go under. She takes my daughter quite often too. She really likes to bake. That worries me some because I want my daughter to learn how to support herself and I know what my wife goes through. So far, you have mentioned dislikes about your wife owning her own bakery. Do you feel that she does not bring in enough income? It's not the amount of income, it's the stability. She has never been hurting for business and generally makes a profit, but I just don't like the possibility that she may not bring enough sales in and money starts coming out of our family funds. This is a logical concern. I can see how that may cause some anxiety. I don't really mention this issue to my wife. She often accuses me of being cheap when I do bring up extra costs and my concerns about stability. What do you think would happen if you let some of that anxiety go? I think we would fall behind and the whole family would suffer. Have you sat down and done a budget plan? This may help you evaluate your concerns. We do have a budget plan. That's the only way we can be so close to paying off our mortgage. 
I feel better, I'll feel better, or I may feel better in two years once that payment is gone, but it may be too late then. My kids are only get, getting older and wanting more expensive gadgets and involved in more stuff. Have you thought about reevaluating your budget and adding in costs that you may foresee in the future? I am worried that adding these costs in will show show us that we can't afford these extra costs. I don't want to take away opportunities for my kids, but I don't want to die at a young age like my dad from all the stress. Are you concerned about your health or doing something harmful to yourself? No, I have never been much on harming myself. Never understood how someone may think hurting themselves is a solution. I think I am in good health for 30, for a 42 year old, mental and physical. You do seem to have a good mental, mental health and I would like to make some suggestions for a plan to help alleviate some of your anxiety. I am open to suggestions. Great, one more question though. What are your goals or what would you like to achieve from our discussion? One goal is to rebudget like you have mentioned. I feel that we are on a good track when it comes to monthly bills, but I would like to like to feel less anxious and more comfortable for the spontaneous expenses. That sounds like a very workable goal for you and your wife. You may be able to open up and talk to her more about your feelings of instability within her job. I can also offer couples therapies, therapy if you are both interested. This may help you and your wife get on the same page. That sounds workable. What goal would you like to set for making more time for your family and not feel guilty? I want to be at a point that I am focused on my family and not stressing about how to pay for them. I would suggest maybe letting your wife handle the payments for extra activities, have open communication, and trust that your budget plan will work. If more spontaneous fees appear before the anxiety hits, try to work more and create a better plan. For example, maybe you can work a few extra hours one week and your wife can do the same the next week. You may be able to alleviate how many hours are needed to maintain what is comfortable for you. By switching, you can have more one-on-one -on -one time with your kids. You can take your daughter to dance and your son to baseball on the weekends. Those seem like obtainable goals. Reevaluating re my budget and factoring in my kids getting older and evaluate the best way that is effective to earn, earning a few extra dollars without missing out on those activities that I am working over to pay for. My wife has always been interested in teaching a baking course in her bakery after hours, but I was always the one working late. She had to be with the kids. Maybe that could help. That sounds like a very good option. Are there any other concerns that you feel we did not touch on today? No, I feel a little relieved and have a direction to work towards. Well, looks like your time is up. I would like to meet with you again in about two weeks if that is feasible with you. It's, this gives you and your wife time to plan for your goals, put them in effect, so we can evaluate your anxiety if you've had time to implement them. That sounds good to me. Do I set the appointment with your secretary? Yes, I will walk you out and Stephanie will set it all up. Sounds good. Right this way.